Hi, Louis. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Um, first of all, congratulations. I didn't know that it was your third um, project only because um, I, I saw you and you were so magnificent. And I thought, oh, of course you have experience, but uh, apparently it's your third project. I've never done anything with like lines. This is my first like big project with like an actual character role. So I feel very, yeah, lucky and grateful. <laughs> Wow, it's you're doing such a great job. Okay. How was it for you to um, to come back to it? You know, to uh, discover this character during the first season, take a break, and now come back to it. It was a In challenge, to be sure. You know, it's very difficult when you put that out. You know, you work so hard for two years. We worked on season one put it out and then you have a long break and then you come back to it and also the characters change the scripts have changed the you know you've got more people that have joined the show and you're filming in different places so it was certainly challenging and I think I expect because I'd never done a second season of anything I've never come onto a different job you know from another one so I think I expected it to be much the same or similar and it wasn't um which was interesting but also i learned so so much um so i'm i'm glad that i had that experience and i mean since it's based on on the book series um i guess there's a lot of the trajectory that's you know preset and that you probably know about even though you haven't shot it yet um a lot of gail stuff isn't because uh, gail in the books is really only in like the first chapter book um so after that gail the character gail doesn't exists. So for me, it's all very new. And obviously, there's themes and stories that come into my storyline. But fundamentally, it's all brand new. And I, I also understand that it's a very different, you know, it's based on the books, but it's you know, got so many ideas from so many different sci fi, you know, ideologies and worlds. So yeah, it's great to see it come as you know, the full package and, mm -hmm. and the final product, I think is amazing. So you also discover new things about Gail when you re uh, receive the new scripts, I presume? Yes, for sure. I mean, she's got to interact with so many new people this season. So even just learning, <laughs> watching her do that and seeing yeah. how she does that is really interesting because you don't see her talk to anyone <laughs> in season one, except for like Raish and Harry at the beginning. Yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, what you're alluding to is, um, and I don't think it's a spoiler because it's always part of uh, the first season, but you know, meeting her daughter. <laughs> Yeah, that, exactly. That she didn't even know existed. Right. And that whole season two is, you know, exploring that relationship and how Gail still maneuvers what she has to do to save humanity whilst also having to deal with like a personal issue or personal uh, relationship that she was not expecting. Yeah, it, it's such a beautiful dynamic because I think it, it um, uses these sci fi, these weird elements, but makes a very human story out of it. Yeah, and I mean, I think fundamentally that's what Foundation is. It's talking about human stories and human ideas and things that we could probably, do, we probably do deal with in our everyday lives, just like in this galaxy world with like fly, like spaceships and s space elevators and I don't know. So it, it's a it's a crazy um, setting, but it's talking about themes and ideas that we deal with in our everyday lives. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to speak with me. Thank you. And good luck with the show. Thanks so much.